Welcome to Wacky Wednesdays, where everyone has a chance to show off their car mods. And here's this week's winner. So this is a BMW 3 Series 318i. Yes, it's old, but it's my Sunday car. And I have this car for nearly one year now. I just love it to the bits. I mean, just look at it. Front of this car, I think it just looks amazing. Especially those headlights. Oh, wow. And the famous kidney grill, of course looks brilliant I have also changed the number plate so you can see that's the press plate I'm a big fan of this press plate don't ask me why but I just love the look of this press plate ever since I got this car I didn't I didn't really do much with this car apart from regular servicing I have serviced the car I've done full service including rocker cover gaskets which you can find the video in my channel and also I have replaced this badge Place the wiper and that's about it. I haven't done any other major work. This is an old car of course and uh, you're not gonna get it perfect I guess. So let's walk around and let me show you guys this car. Bit of scratch on the side. Body work I would say it's good. It's not excellent and rust wise it's okay I would say. It's building up. It's not too bad because normally with E30s when you go and buy it you'd expect a lot of rust in this cars but this one is in pretty good shape. Three owners from new so that's not a lot and the mileage in this car is 132,000. It's not bad for this age. So when it comes to interior it's a very nice and simple place to be. Every controls are there what you need. And annoys me quite a lot is uh, this car doesn't really come with the aircon. I have actually added a cup holder. So I guess this adds some few brake horsepowers. So this is pretty handy. I got this off from eBay. So all you got to do is just slide it next to your seat. And there you go. There you have a cup holder. It comes with a clothes seat. What I've done is I've put an extra seat cover on this. Because I don't know if you guys do know it. These specific BMWs, they're pretty known for ripped seats. They normally rip around this side of the driver's seat. It's a very common fault to have. And another common fault, which I should also mention is, they do suffer from crack on the dash. So apart from a few little things, for instance, the electric window, it don't work. And uh, the crack on the dash, that's all I have to complain about for this car. Of course, got an automatic gearbox. It drives very good at... Uh, decent speed there's no issue with the gear as well there's no dash lights everything works in here this is one thing I love about this BMW the way the hood opens I mean just check this out I think it just looks pretty this way I mean just look at it this is what I love about those 80s or 90s design they're simply beautiful here's the engine of course as I mentioned it's a two liter petrol engine it doesn't really have any oil leak whatsoever which you would normally expect on a BMW and uh, I'll be honest with you there was a slight of oil leak from the rocker cover gasket but of course I got that replaced now it's all nice and dry I have changed the battery by the way I like the way how it's designed as well it's nice and simple lines I've owned quite a few BMW in past I've owned the E46 E90 F30 and of course this E30 one of the reasons why I do love this cars because the way it makes you feel when you drive this cars and especially this one this is where BMW got everything right because I'm a huge fan of the E30 M3 the best thing is when you have a car like this you can look back and just think yourself that you do have some element of an M3 behind you. So about this car, how it drives, well, it's not going to drive like a new car. But when you're driving a classic car like this, <laughs> there's this different feeling what you get and it's amazing. Unless you drive one of these old cars, you're not going to get it. I, I like the whole driving experience of it. I mean, that's what BMWs are known for, ultimate driving machine. It does pretty good in corners, I'll be honest with you. So, some people might complain that it might roll like a London bus. You know, of course, this is an old car. And being an old car, you have to keep that in mind that you don't have modern technology in this car. It doesn't have any airbag, nor it got any anti-lock braking system. So, when you're braking, uh, you just got to be a bit careful when you're doing that. It doesn't really have a traction control as well. 
this means that when you're driving this car, it's you who is driving this car. It's not driven by a computer or anything. It doesn't have the automated braking system. And that's, that's what I like about this old cars. I always wanted to own a classic car and this was my opportunity of owning it. And I have to say, it's, it's really nice. See, cars like this, a smile on your face. I can imagine myself doing thousands of miles in this car and not get bored. You don't really get this car to go fast in corners or to show off to your friends and be like, oh, check this horsepower, or oh, this is what 0 to 60 is. No, it's, it's not what this car is about. This car is more about having the characteristics. That's why I like this car. And uh, that's why maybe there's so many guys out there who still loves the E30. Did enjoy driving around Scottish roads. And I have to say, they do have one of the best driving roads. I've been here before, but it's just somewhere where I just want to come again and again and just drive. And for the E30, well, I don't know how long I'm going to keep the E34. But until then, I just want to enjoy it. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, just do make sure to press the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe and I will see you for next time. Well, that was this week's video. And to have your car mod shown on my channel here, check this out. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.